hello everyone in this video i am going to discuss about how to create a pdf file using binary code but before creating a pdf file from scratch i will explain how uh, the binary file works so let's start with the uh, file structure of a pdf so basically there are four parts of a pdf the first one is obviously the header uh, the header contains useful information that the uh, PDF reader software needs before starting the actual rendering process. And uh, then we have the body. The body is actually where all the PDF object goes to. Um, I have already discussed about uh, PDF objects in my previous tutor, uh, previous video. So if you want, you can also. Uh, uh, refer to that video you can view the video now next part is the cross reference table so cross reference table is an important part of PDF which enables the PDF to become more portable by providing um, the indexes or actual positions of all the objects even uh, without loading the whole PDF a software a PDF reading software can track the exact position of every object which, which makes it really uh, easy for a PDF reader to load uh, the minimum resource means it, it will be more optimized that way because a cross reference table contains the um, indexes of each and every object that's in the body so the the next and the last part of the pdf is the trailer the trailer uh, contains important information such as the number of um, objects in the body and the root object of the body there, there is a requirement for root object because in a pdf there are a lot of objects there has to be uh, a starting point for all those objects so that starting point is called root so uh, the software the PDF reader software will start rendering from the root object so that information is stored in the trailer part of the PDF and the trailer part of the PDF also uh, holds a record for the uh, information object means the information uh, the metadata of that PDF is also stored as object in the body so the position of that object is also stored in the trailer so more about that later uh, first let's start with uh, loading the PDF as a binary code so in this uh, in this section of uh, Python code it will load uh, the file a.pdf as binary and it will show it here so let me execute this uh, piece of code so as you can see it has uh, loaded a pdf file called a.pdf and has printed the same on the screen so let me show you exact pdf which it is uh, which the binary code has been printed out So this is the uh, PDF file for which the binary code has been printed out. It is just a hello world PDF. Uh, the name of the PDF is a.pdf, a single page PDF file. So uh, the metadata that I am talking about, you can see that the producer, the created, uh, modified number of pages, these are all metadata and it will be provided by an info object that will be I'll discuss about it later but let's start a basic uh, let's create a basic PDF file first so the the first part of the PDF called the header part is there this one okay so as you can see uh, this B is written uh, at the starting uh, the starting 
because uh, the whole uh, data that is shown here is in binary format so python shows is shows is it as uh, a b okay in python a b will appear for binary code so let me do one thing there is a this portion called uh, backslash n which is uh, called the line feed so the main function of the line feed is to provide uh, a separation between that means to create a line for each and every uh, encounter of slash n so let me do the same thing let me split the file by using uh, slash n note that i am uh, providing that b before the uh, string uh, to make it a binary string because the whole thing is written in binary so the whole file has been loaded as binary so if i have to apply any uh, anything as a function for example split i have to split it by using a binary text not by using some not by using that normal form of text okay so if i execute this one uh, as you can see it has been split using that uh, line fed okay so this portion the first one indicates the pdf version of the data so the pdf has obviously some standard according to the version so uh, the file is written according to pdf 1.5 so it starts with a uh, percent sign and then pdf dash 1.5 and the next person sign indicates that the file is in binary format this one is really important to show uh, that the file is written as a binary file so it has to be there and the next portion this uh, four uh, hexadecimal number is uh, also known as the magic number confirms the software the pdf reader software that this is actually a pdf so it has to be there otherwise it will not detect uh, the file as a pdf file these four hexadecimal numbers confirms the software that this data is a pdf file so next we have the uh, body this this portion indicates the starting of body okay everything after this portion is uh, not a header the header is only this much okay so next part after the header is body so body starts from there so as you can see it is it has written 40 obj which means it's an object starting of object which has an id of 4 and generation 0 so as expected generation would uh, most probably be 0 so this one is the uh, values of that object so as you can see it's a stream object so length has been mentioned as a reference to an object which uh, has id 5 and they have used some filter actually filter is used for any stream object which is uh, compressed using some algorithm for example flat decode is also an algorithm for compression so i'm in this video i'm not talking about compression and streams we'll be just creating a a simple very simple pdf file which opens correctly and that's all so if i scroll down you, as you can see the, uh, the reference is 50r so as you can scroll if you scroll down we will find that 50 uh, object so object with id 5 so the value is 208 so which means the length is 208 length of the object 4 so i'm just clarifying things that are how it works so if i scroll down a lot more all really fast we will encounter something which is not an object it's an xref so the object uh, portion ends there 
विच मार्क्स दी एंडिंग ऑफ बॉडी एंड एक्चुअली देर आर लॉट ऑफ ई एन डी ओ बीच आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट ई एन डी ओ बीच आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एक्स रेफ सो एक्स रेफ इंडिकेट्स दैट दिस इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ द क्रॉस रेफरेंस दैट आई हैव मैंशन हेयर क्रॉस रेफरेंस टेबल सो द क्रॉस रेफरेंस टेबल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पोर्शन and there are something written below which is 023 now this portion is uh, most probably not used because it is only used if you update uh, the pdf file or if you split the cross reference table somehow so there will be 0 1 2 something like that but uh, i want to keep it simple so let's assume that we will always be using is whole single uh, cross reference table so it will always be zero and this next number 23 uh, is the count of object present in the cross reference table so as you can see th this is uh, if you count it from there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and then 17 18 19 20 to 21 22 23 so there are like 23 uh, entries so it is it has written 23 but the first entry is kind of like uh, non existent so there are total of 22 objects and you have to write 23 so uh, that's the main idea okay the total number of object plus 1 you, you have to write there so there will be like 23 entries with a single uh, non existing entry uh, it is non existing because this portion is the id and uh, this portion is uh, some offset value which uh, i don't need it here because it is only required when you update an existing pdf file if you feel like you will not change uh, major whole thing and just you will update the file on the fly then we have to update the cross reference table with this uh, offset values so this is not required for a simple pdf file so most probably you will see only zeros at the offset part there are like uh, five zeros and for the first portion the id version is zeros because we don't have any object with id 0 so it is non existent so and the offset one uh, will be a very high value to indicate it is non existent and we also have the f f means free which means that this id is not used so n means not free so this ids are already occupied by some objects uh, which makes sense so uh, the number given over there is actually the index okay so as uh, id 0 does not uh, exist we can just leave it as 0 0 but for object with id 1 the first entry marks the uh, index value of where we can find that value like uh, the position of the object 1 so if we just uh, copy this uh, number and paste it over there so uh, the test pdf contains the binary okay the binary of the whole file so if i execute it like that with this number we can see that it marks the start of obj with id 1 similarly if i copy this uh, second entry which which is actually the third entry but uh, id should be 2 because id starts from 0 1 2 so if i just paste it there you can see it's it marks the start of uh, id 2 object with id 2 so everything written here is uh, just the height position of each and every object see so the cross reference table helps the software to locate each and ob every objects and uh, the id are arranged in very serial order
zero one two three like that up to twenty three so this number is very important as it marks the uh, the length of the cross reference entries there are twenty three entries and after that it stops there abruptly means uh, the software has to relay on this information to know that okay there are this many entries there are 23 entries and then we also have the trailer which mentions the same 23 this highest 23 means there are 23 objects we have uh, the trailer is there to mention the size and the root object which uh, the reader starts from and we also have the info which contains the metadata so info is located at 21 so if this is a uh, entry number 23 then this is 22 this is 21 so let me show you how the uh, info object looks like if I just click on there um, actually I think I got a little off this one should be 22 okay this is the info object which is the 21 so as you can see the id of that object is 21 so what do we have here uh, let's do one thing let's split split it based on the slash n so the object starts from this line to that line so everything in between is the info object content of the info object so first we have the producer which uh, states that C A I R O which is uh, obviously a um, library to create that PDF file I guess and uh, the creation date is uh, mentioned as D object this one I have already discussed in the previous video but uh, to simplify that um, date object it is just the year, the month, the day and the time in 24 hour format and uh, actually the hour of the time in 24 hour uh, format and this is the minute, second and this is the GMT, the plus 5, uh, 30. So if I just open the file pdf file you can see the producer is just that which we, you have seen in the object and we also have the created the date is uh, very uh, easy to read it is uh, Tuesday 6 December so uh, the software has parsed the date, uh, date portion and uh, has provided us a more detailed information like it has uh, transformed that 24 hour uh, time into 12 hour format so which is uh, accurate because uh, the hour in uh, the hour portion was 22 so it's actually 10 pm and the minute was 12 and the second was 19 you can compare it uh, the hour was 22 which it has uh, shown as 10 12 and 19 12 is the minute and 19 is the second so that's how it's done so this one is the uh, info object then we have the root at 22 so i'll talk about root later but uh, to be uh, to make it simple it's just the uh, type catalog and pages so it's just a link to different pages which is rendered in the PDF file uh, rendered uh, as a page in the PDF file I will talk about it later but uh, for now let's just focus on creating a simple PDF file so to create a simple PDF file what do we need we need a, a, a header a trailer a cross reference and that, that's it that's the uh, simple part but without any object we can we cannot refer anything as root or info and the size will always be one because we only ha will have this portion and nothing else so uh, I will try to just 
do it without anything like will it run without a cross reference and trailer we'll check it out right now okay so we have the uh, header portion which is actually a percentage pdf 15 which you can uh, see from there percentage pdf 15 then slash n which uh, marks the uh, line feed and we have this person to indicate that it's a binary file and the magic hexadecimal number and that's all that's the uh, add portion this one is the uh, header portion and then we also have the close tag so if you um, focus on the ending part you can see we have the uh, line feed then double percent and then eof which marks the end of file we also have an interesting uh, portion the start xref if i show it there the start xref indicates the position of the xref file the xref table okay so if i just copy this portion and show you the result see it's it directly prints the xref file because the xref the position of the xref starts from this one the 274 double line so it's like the uh, position of the byte for xref so start xref indicates uh, that position so it's there in the pdf file so it's more like uh, more probably it will throw an error but let's try it out okay let's execute this one we will have an output file as uh, output.pdf and we'll try to run it okay. we will have the file now i think output.pdf now it will throw an error obviously because uh, it has not found most of the things so it is showing that pdf file is damaged because it has not found most of the important parts like cross reference table trailer start xref and things like that so let me do one thing uh, first of all let's uh, create a trailer So I had to write size as 1 because actually the cross reference table will not have any entry except for this first portion. So it will be like xref01 and things like that. So even if I have include trailer it's not complete because it does not have the cross reference table yet. So if I run this one again and try to execute the same. It will again throw an error because it has not found the cross reference table. So let's try again. Let's build a cross reference table this time.
this one is actually a tricky part because we have to mention the uh, starting position of cross ref so as i am uh, actually placing the cross reference just after the header portion so i will note the position of uh, uh, the end point of the uh, header portion so let me do one thing uh, let me store it as x ok so x equals length of header portion and then we will use x as the start x ref so let me do one thing because uh, x is an int we have to convert it as string and then this converted string has to be again encoded as binary encode and this uh, function will uh, translate this uh, string as binary then finally you can add between two binaries so we have the exact position of that xref table uh, let me explain the whole thing again we have the uh, header portion so uh, this uh, the length of that uh, header portion would be the end of the whole thing ok so the length would mark the starting position of this xf so if i just um, do one thing if i run and at the next next page ok there is some error oh i have not enclosed it Now if I just uh, check the code whether it's okay or not I have the variable in the x position so if I just do it like that but there is some bug I guess oh I have not mentioned the cross reference table yet So I have added the cross reference and then I will also need the uh, start x reference I think that's all now if I run the same thing again I think uh, now it works so as you can see the x contains the position for the x ref ok if I print the whole pdf file it is like that pdf 15 that's the file we have created just now which don't have any objects and the trailer has size 1 and uh, and the start ref position as the data I mean, means it's mostly complete but let's see whether it works or not let's see whether it throws an error or it works let's try again see it still has not opened that file it is uh, fine it is not accepting that pdf yet let's do some more modifications and then try again so what are we missing still now let's check so we need an object this is the first thing we need an uh, object root object so without root object it uh, the pdf is kind of like incomplete ok so let's do one thing let's build this root object first ok so the uh, content for a root object is like type catalog and then we have the pages ok so uh, the uh, the page object is at id 1 so let's have a look at this page object which is this one two seven two six four it is located at uh, this address two seven two six four so it's kind it has written the type pages and then kinds the kids to uh, so um 
it is another object which indicates how many pages are there and all that data so let's build a catalog object so let me add another thing called body and inside that we have to write some object so we also need some id so first let's give it as one and then we can add some data so this one uh, is the root object so let's copy the root data as we have already used the id1 so i am giving it as id2 so it will be better there are like three space after another entry the first entry is with that uh, double means the double less than sign then space then the first entry then in case of the second entry there are like three spaces i don't know whether it is actually necessary we'll find it out later okay for now let's play along with it okay we are done and i need to create another object which is object number 2 so let's create that later we will uh, build a function to do the same so the pages object will contain something like type pages and then count okay let's let's give it a count as zero so it doesn't have any kids Let's do that. Type pages and the next portion is count. Count should be zero. Count is the total number of pages that's available in the PDF. good there so i think uh it would be better if i just add these two over there and then calculate the whole thing we also have to edit the trailer portion because now we have a root so i have to mention that portion otherwise it will not uh, know until i mention so i have to enter it like that root ok 
okay now let's try it again this time it opens up so it means uh, it worked the code worked fine so we have a document with no pages because I have mentioned the child as zero so now we can try out whether the uh, other means whether it works without um, this object the second object or not okay let's let's try this one out I am going to delete this portion, this object. Now as we don't have any more pages, so I can also delete this portion. Now we only have one object and that's all. Another thing that you might have noticed that I have not entered anything about the object in the cross reference table but it still worked. So the cross reference table uh, only helps the process but it is not mandatory I think because otherwise it would have stopped working. It has not thrown a single error and it, it just worked on the fly. So let's try again. it worked again which means that it only needs a single object to be there in the body portion and that's all the catalog portion so it, it looks for the root object and if it doesn't find that root object then it uh, identifies that portion as a corrupt file and if it identifies uh, it if it fails to identify the root of that document then it will give you an error it will not load but the moment it has found the root in the trailer and it exists then it will be fine okay let's try one more thing let's give it a false information and see whether it works again or not whether it at least opens up or not okay let's try it out So it has failed reading the document catalog. So uh, it has found that the catalog exists at uh, the object ID 1 but it has failed to load the catalog which means uh, you cannot give any false information about this root portion. The catalog is an important part and without that it will not even load. So, it's a, so in this video I have made a basic PDF file which at least loads up. So in the next part of the video, I will show you uh, how you can actually make a page, a single page of the PDF. So in my next video, I will also show you how to uh, in, in, enter the cross reference table and how to uh, link between the objects and the uh, entries of cross reference table. So till then, see you.